They may be warnings we are missing. Chinese Long March rockets, for example, once they reach space, leave behind massive rocket boosters. They eventually come down. Back in 2020, parts of one crashed in two villages in the Ivory Coast. No one was injured, luckily. But about 10 minutes earlier, parts had passed over densely populated New York City. Well, that's a, a warning about what could happen. Michael Byers is the lead author of a new study that looks at the risk abandoned rocket stages mean to people on the ground. Flashing. The team analyzed the last 30 years of launches and came up with odds that someone will eventually be killed. They say there's about a 10% chance it will happen in the next 10 years. Which is actually really small, except for the fact that it's growing because more and more rockets are being launched. The number of countries and now companies sending rockets into space is skyrocketing. That's more and more debris. Even SpaceX's Falcon 9 that brings back its reusable main booster still leaves a second stage in space for eventual re-entry. They tend to put on quite a show as they break up. This is debris from SpaceX flying over Seattle last year. What is that? And this is over Lincoln, Oregon. The company tweeted out this week that just since the beginning of 2022, it sent up 31 Falcon 9 rockets. Where is that going to land? The Earth is big, but we're not that big. And space debris is an issue, and we are not addressing it as much as we need to. Now, one thing the study found is that the danger is actually higher in countries that don't send up rockets. Because launches tend to be carrying satellites into orbit near the equator, the odds are about four times higher they'll land near the equator. The major space launching states, uh, they're exporting risk to the developing world. The most frustrating part, Bayer says, is that today's technology makes all this risk completely preventable. It's calling on governments to act. Mike Armstrong, Global News.